Hello, thank you for tuning into my channel and this video is going to be about the three-day military diet and what the three-day military diet is, it's basically nine meals, you have three meals a day, there's no snacks and they are all laid out for you. I do have the website link down below and you eat very, very light for three days. Um, it says you can lose up to 10 pounds in a week. Um, you can you're gonna lose weight but 10 pounds I don't know you have to be like working out a lot um, but I did the diet for three days and it's it's a very strict diet everything is measured out for you it tells you what to eat tells you what to drink it's very easy to follow I mean only thing you're gonna have to do is just go to the grocery store um, but it's, it's a very very simple diet it's it, it can't get any easier than what the diet is um, I filmed the three days that I, well, I actually did two and a half days the last day I had some Chipotle, so I did cheat a little bit, but um, I will let you watch all of the videos, and then once those videos are over, uh, well, the video clips, not videos, because it's all going to be in this video, um, I will tell you how I did with the diet, what I liked, what I didn't like, and how many pounds I lost, and what I recommended, so here you go. Day one, meal one of the three-day military diet, we have Earl Grey tea for the caffeine, half a grapefruit, and a slice of toast. This is my breakfast, even though it's technically almost lunch because I got up late. But this is what I'm going to eat, and I will be filming my meals and letting you know how my days are going. Day one, meal two of the three-day military diet, we have half a cup of tuna, dry toast, and water. You can drink tea or coffee. I decided just to drink some water because I didn't feel like having any more tea right now. Um, for my tuna, I do not care too much for just tuna out of the can. So I looked at the mayonnaise I had, which is regular mayonnaise. It's not light or anything. It's 60 calories a serving. So I just did half of that, which was is 30 calories. And um, it was more than enough mayonnaise. And I add a little bit of pepper. So what I'm going to do is just probably add half this tuna to this bread to eat it because dry toast is really not any fun and you can't use butter or anything so I'm just going to add a little bit of this to the toast so it's a little better and then eat the rest of the tuna and drink the water um, but I'm probably going to drink the water after my meal that way that fills me up so I'm not so hungry but yeah let's eat this all up so we're on day one meal three um, well half of three um, I have half an apple, not half an apple, a small apple, I apologize, a cup of green beans, three ounces of chicken, and I'm drinking green tea with lemon with a little bit of Splenda in there. Um, I put a little bit of seasoning on the chicken because I'm just not going to eat dry chicken. A little bit of pepper, none of this has salt, and a green apple. I probably should have had a red apple because it's not as sweet as this and probably a little bit more healthier, but that's fine. Um, and the reason I say half is because the entire meal consists of half a banana and a cup of vanilla ice cream. But instead I'm going to have that for dessert because I usually eat a snack. So I'm going to eat all of this and I'm probably going to wait like an hour or two and then eat that before I go to bed. But um, this looks good. Looks a lot more filling than my last meals. But I'm going to eat this and um, see how full I get. I, after I drink my tea, I'm going to wait till I get full, let my food digest a little bit. Probably drink like a couple of glasses of water and then I'll have my snack. Because the key to this is to stay hydrated so you don't eat all day long. So yeah, that is my meal. This is the last meal of the military diet. It's half a banana and a cup of ice cream. This is my last meal before I go to bed. And I'm going to drink a glass of water after this. So I will see you guys tomorrow. So we are on day two, meal one of the three-day military diet. We have a slice of toast with um, an egg either way so you can have it any way you can cook an egg. Half a banana and some Earl Grey tea. A little bit of Splenda in there, like maybe half a teaspoon, if that. Um, and I put a little bit of pepper on the egg. So very light breakfast, but the tea should fill me up really, really good. I'm not going to drink the tea until I'm done with this. That way it'll be cool enough for me to drink. So yeah, let's eat. This is meal two on day two of the diet. And we have um, a cup of Greek yogurt. The um, list says for cottage cheese, or you can substitute for Greek yogurt. I don't like cottage cheese 
at all. So I used Greek yogurt and I added some honey because I don't even like the taste of plain Greek yogurt. Um, but with some honey in there, it gives it a little bit of sweetness and so it's tolerable. Um, then we have a boiled egg and five saltine crackers. And I have some water over here. So this is my lunch. So we are on um, half of the third meal for day two. Uh, broccoli and carrots. And then some chicken. Um, the meal plan calls for two hot dogs, but I didn't want that. I figured the chicken is a lot healthier than a hot dog. And I'm gonna drink some water and then I will have my ice cream and banana later on this evening. Here is my last meal of the day. It is the ice cream and banana. Um, my dinner was okay. I didn't really care for it just because I didn't really have a taste for it, but I did eat it. So, a little less calories than I normally would eat, but here we go. Last meal of the day for day two. We are on day three, meal one. I am eating pretty late, it's three o'clock. I've been running errands all day, so it is my first time eating, which is not good. Um, five saltine crackers with a slice of cheddar cheese. I just put the cheese on the cracker so it's more filling. Um, and then I have a small green apple and some green tea. The meals are very, very light. The third day, I think it's so you can lose the most calories, uh, but I'm kind of glad that I'm eating so late because the meals are so light. So we'll see how the third day goes. Um, so yeah, let's eat all this up. So that was my meals. Um, first off, the diet, I don't mind the diet. Um, a couple of things about this diet. Now, when I first saw it, I was like, why the hell is ice cream on here? <laughs> like, you think of diet, you don't think of ice cream. But I think it was for the fats. Um, could they have added an avocado? Sure. Um, but I, the avocado has a lot of fats. It's good fats, but it's a lot of fats. And, um, but I see why they added it, and I'm pretty sure they added it for the sugar intake. Even though bananas have it. Bananas are good for the potassium. Um, but I just followed the diet completely except for the hot dogs. I didn't eat the hot dogs. It was like that second day for dinner. I didn't have a hot dog. I had a small chicken breast. Healthier, less calories. Um, on the website, it gives you a list of substitutions. Follow that list if you want to substitute it. Like for instance, when I had the Greek yogurt, that was substituted for cottage cheese. So you can substitute it. Everything has a substitution that you can have, like if you're allergic to something or whatever. Um, but don't substitute it for anything that's not on the list because then it's not gonna work. Even though I substituted the cottage cheese for Greek yogurt, I mixed in a little bit of honey, I still didn't like it. So that was the only thing I didn't like about the diet was the Greek yogurt. Other than that, I was fine. Um, the first day, got through it with no issues. I had no problems. I wasn't hungry. That's the thing I was afraid of when I first started the diet. I thought I was just gonna be hungry. Um, but the thing is, is that a lot of times when you think you're hungry, you're dehydrated, you have the same feeling. So I just go, guzzled down some water. So it got me to drink a lot more water. Um, so like that third day, I ate like really, really late. If you saw the timestamp, I didn't even eat for the first time. It was like maybe three o'clock. I was out running errands, all of that Wednesday. I was getting a passport situated. And I just had a bunch of stuff to do. Um, so I ate late and then I decided I just wanted some Chipotle. Um, but I worked out those three days. So if you want to get the maximum results from this diet, follow it to a T. Don't substitute it for things you should be substituting it for. Um, and work out. Do some walking, do some jogging, just do some sort of exercise and you're going to lose weight. I lost three pounds from the diet alone, which is, which is great. Um, if you really want to, you know, drop the 10 pounds, you have to really watch what you eat for those next four days. Now, there is a, a, a link on the site that says what you can eat on those four days. I didn't follow that because I was like, I don't feel like going to the store and buy because everything they had, I didn't have in a store. It's like, you have all these options. You have like smoothies and stuff. Um, I didn't go back to like eating like crap. Well, it's not like I eat like crap now, but, um, I just kind of kept it light and overall for the whole week I lost like four and a half pounds. I think that's great to drop four and a half pounds in a week if you stick with this diet. Now would I recommend this diet? I would recommend this diet if you are trying to like get into a dress before an event. I'd recommend this diet. Um, 
is it a long-term fix no I if you want to see how you can lose weight and if working out you can eat try to diet to start off and then just because you're, you're eating so little for these three days so your body your stomach is going to get used to eating a little bit so try this diet out and then like on the fourth day like eat some oatmeal or something and then your but long-term effects like don't do this diet every single day for like weeks or months it's not good to do that because i'm not i'm not a fan of fat diets i really just did this diet just to say that i did it because usually i'm not good with like doing fasts and everything i was just happy to finally have some orange juice on the fourth day like i was just happy about that but the key to losing weight and maintaining it and having you know the body that you want and having a healthier lifestyle is really just portion control that's all it really is um you know just cut back on what you eat you really don't have to give up what you eat unless you just eat a lot of sweets and a lot of processed foods if you don't eat a lot of that then just really cut back like instead of having like a cookie for dessert have a slice have a fruit have an orange or something you know because usually when I want something sweet, I'll eat an orange or a tangerine or an apple or something. It's way healthier than eating like a bag of candy. So that's really the goal if you want to lose weight. Um, a couple of things, I don't know why they threw in there like the hot dogs. Like hot dogs is probably like the unhealthiest meat you can eat. <laughs> it really is because it's just like all the leftovers put together into a, and it makes a hot dog. So, I mean that didn't really make sense to me um but like the tuna tuna is very very healthy um i did add if you saw in the video i added a little bit of mayonnaise to my tuna mayonnaise i have is only 60 calories i did half of that so 30 calories i mean 30 calories what is that gonna do nothing so i kind of switched a couple of things not too drastic but i lost you know four pounds last week and what more can you ask for? I mean, 10 pounds to me is a little extreme. And I think when people read 10 pounds, they're like, oh, I can drop 10 pounds. And they don't realize the work that has to go in it. Like dropping 10 pounds in a week, that's work. And I was never going for the 10 pounds. I was like, if I can drop three pounds just from this diet, I'm good. And I lost, you know, four and a half or whatever. So yeah, that is my, um, I, I do recommend the diet if you just want to drop some pounds really really quick because a lot you know a lot of times if you don't drink a lot of water you're going to drop the water weight and water weight when you drop water weight you're gonna it, it drops really really fast so yeah that is my um thoughts on the three-day military diet and um let me know if you tried it what your results are if you plan on trying it let me know what your results are but with that said i'm going to get out of here and i hope you all have a great rest of the week see you later bye